I'm not in Shambhala. Mm, the PS3 has no games. I'm talking about that PS3. The PS3 at the time of release was seen as a big disappointment. It didn't seem all that more powerful than the revolutionary PS2, and the competition was just more appetizing, like, mmm, Mario Galaxy. I, I, I want that in my mouth. The Xbox 360 was a perfect rectangle for your multiplayer shooters and your Blinks the Cat, while the Wii filled in that gap of stupid, wacky bullshit for babies who want to play Smurfs Dance Party. The PS3 had no one in its corner whenever it started releasing commercials like this. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> the console wars were in full force and Sony was losing. The big brick cost too much and people started making parody songs because they hated it so much. Sony, you went wrong with your PS3. I'll just keep playing my 360. Then they did it again. PlayStation has no freaking game. Famously, the PS3 had quote unquote no games, unlike the PS2 who had Sly Cooper, GTA, The Sopranos, Jackass the Game. The PS3 had Call of Duty and fucking Madden. It was getting dire until the heroes came. The saviors of the PS3. Bam! Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. It's like Tomb Raider, but it's actually fun and there's no nude code. Then there's the Little Big Planet franchise, which will have to get its own video soon because this is literally my favorite game franchise ever. And I think it's at fault for making me like this. The first game was only slightly racist, and the second game is a masterpiece that you could literally make anything in. <laughs> It's like Cooper was back with Thieves in Time. I love the shit out of this game, but I don't think anyone else did. You get to play a Sly with a gun and Hot Sly with a gun. Oh, oops. <laughs> These should be switched. Yes, it's a sexy console, but it's a piece of fucking shit. I just remembered, like, repressed memories, but they had a goddamn... Carmelita Fox belly dancing stage. I swear to God they did this shit. It was required to beat the game too. This is why there isn't another game. It's this shit. You have to like shake your hips too. You, you got me fucked up. Coins came out. They threw coins at my ass. God of War was doing something on this console. I don't know. I wasn't allowed to play it. Zeus. Zeus! Bioshock was huge. It came in sea and air flavor. Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter. So many ands. Heavy and rain. Basically, at this point, it was silly to say the PS3 had no games when it was like now one of my favorite consoles ever made. This all culminated when an executive at Sony saw Nintendo's Super Smash Bros. Brawl and then looked at all the characters they had and then flipped the coin on whether they would be sued or not and here we are today. Boys, boys should all start Battle Royale, the funniest game ever made. It's definitely shameless and sloppily put together, but to be fair, Smash clones weren't uncommon. Like Cartoon Network already made one and I actually played a bit of it on an emulator. Don't tell them, but it was actually decent. It was, it was better than this game, I'm sorry. Nowadays, Smash clones are all too common and now people get mad if you call them that. They're platform fighters now. Okay, sure, but I know what you are. But PlayStation All-Stars was a pioneer in copying what was already done and by God, it wasn't very good at it, but it had Sackboy and Kratos. That's all you really need. God, who else do I fucking hate in this game? I hate a lot of bastards in this game. Like, I I, I really do. I mean, the characters don't belong with each other. I mean, they, they don't belong. You know, Jigglypuff and Olimar, that's cool, that's okay. Sam is Solid Snake, boom, you know, that's okay. You can't put Fat Princess with Kratos. <laughs> Why does it sound like an interracial couple rant? I know Crash and PlayStation the Dragon were in a kind of legal limbo where nobody knew who owned them, but when they did, they legally had to be as ugly as possible, but seriously, put them in the game. They put all this effort into getting all the original voice actors, even the voices for side characters that only appear in cutscenes or stages, but none of these PlayStation icons. Crash is literally the PlayStation guy. What, what about Laura Croft? And Cloud. C Cloud was a PlayStation character for a while. I guess it was too hard to get him. I would also say Joel from The Last of Us, but uh, I, don't, I don't think they planned that far ahead. Heavy Rain released two years before this though. 
I don't know why Scott Shelby isn't in this shit. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. <laughs> Other than the characters, there's a story mode, but it's just random matches and this final boss. Wait, is that... <laughs> is that a purple Kratos? <laughs> Apparently this Polygon guy was supposed to be a real PlayStation mascot and that's why he's here. I don't know. It's just like the most half-assed battle ever. It doesn't like... Like, all he does, he just spawns characters, turns into models they already have in program, and slams his head down so you can attack him. He ain't shit. I am a piece of fucking shit! One aspect I do really like is the idea of rivals, and I am now just realizing Garden Warfare 2 had this exact same idea. Basically, random characters would be paired together, and they'd have some random beef with each other because of a three-second cutscene. Real beef would know just how valuable those are. And I suppose you know what they are, huh? <laughs> this is who stole the pages. Sure. <laughs> Real life Nathan Drake went into Furry's they're Utopia they're world and stole the fucking pages. Shouldn't be too much trouble for you to take them off. I bet you fuck off, you fucking rat. Not shambolic. Ready? <laughs> They've been rewritten in ancient Mesopotamian. Why the fuck would Nathan Drake grab the Thievius Raccoonus and rewrite it in ancient, some ancient fucking language? Okay, Sly Cooper and Nathan Drake is a genuinely cool rivalry to see, but with some of them it's just stupid bullshit. Like Kratos makes Sweet Tooth drop his ice cream code, and that's the entire reason they're rivals. Another demon sent by this so-called god. He can join the rest. Ice cream cone, stand aside. Pick that up and pay for it. Sackboy like plays with the Big Daddy Bioshock girl thing, and then this angers Big Daddy for some reason. Leave him alone. What did he do? I like Sir Daniel versus the Killzone guy because it's just funny to see a mech suit soldier try and fight this cartoon skeleton knight. Okay, you know what? You're just creeping me out. Get out of here. But some of these other rivalries are just like, okay, I guess. Like, you had to team them up with someone. <laughs> Here comes Evil Co- <laughs> Evil Co- <laughs> Wait, the rival for- They had to make, pick a rival for Fat Princess and it had to be Evil Co- I really like these cutscenes and the one at the beginning of the game. It's like one of the only things that really justifies this being a crossover and not a corporate tea party with all your favorite characters plastered on it. Sadly, there's only these cutscenes of the characters walking up and knocking each other's blocks off. And the cutscenes at the beginning and end of each character's story is just still images. I get it, the budget wasn't huge and it's fine, at least there's something there. And I like how they actually use the original art styles of some of the games. So Sly Cooper and Parappa stories have nice art styles, while Fat Princesses looks like fucking hoodwinked. Something that always irked me about Sackboy's pictures. I like Stephen Fry narrating it but he looks like an AI Funko Pop image. I don't like it. The other thing that validates this game as a crossover is the stages, all like eight and a half of them. But what we do have is pretty neat. There's like five stages that are just battlefields, but what makes them cool is the fusion. After some time in a stage, a thing from a different game will break in and change the stage. This is the coolest shit that ever happened. I don't care if most of the time it just equates to a big spider in the background of Ape Escape. It's still cool and really fucking funny. Again, it's like an actual crossover. Think of stage morph, but instead of the whole stage changing, the guy from Ratchet and Clank shows up. There's the railway station! This is probably the only thing this game has above Smash Bros. Because, c come on. Come on. Carmelita Fox is in my game now. The Gardens is a kind of bland stage to give Sackboy to, and they clearly just chose it because there weren't any other, like, bland oatmeal-ass grasslands to fight in. For some reason, it's called Dreamscape, and... Yeah, as a Sackboy gripper, it's kind of weird seeing how much no research they did on him. So everything in the stage just looks slightly wrong. Like, look at the intro. That's that's fucking disgusting. And then there's this sticker on the side of the wall that's clearly supposed to be the King Henry sticker that's in the gardens, but it's just not. It's like a random clip art they found. I like how it's built over time. But then the guy from Buzz shows up. What the fuck is Buzz? <laughs> Whoever gave a shit about Buzz. N nobody gives a shit about Buzz. A at least it's probably the only canon crossover because there's like a Buzz costume and Little Big Planet, but fuck uh, Buzz. Then there's the Paris stage, repping my boy Sly Cooper. Oh, hell yeah. R remember when he was going to have his own movie, 
but it looks like this. So it kind of throws the fuck away. The stage kind of sucks, but then the fucking Negativatron from Little Big Planet 2 shows up, and it's the greatest thing ever. And it's like the background too. I forgot about that. Fuck, I'm I'm literally a fucking consumer right now. I like the Hades stage where you gotta dodge this guy, but then he gets taken over by fucking Patapong and whatever the fuck, and they start singing and he might dance for some reason. I don't know why that happened. Loco Roco versus fucking Metal Gear Rising, bitch. Oh fuck! My nano machines will destroy the Loco Roco game for PSP. It's a match you can play with outside. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. PSP, it's like a nut. You can play with outside. I really like the Uncharted Stowaway stage because it's playing the really calm Uncharted music, and then the fucking Bioshock Infinite Flying Town thing shows up, and it looks like that one image of all the world wonders in the same place. The Parappa stage is like the Onion Dojo from the first game. Kick, punch, kick, punch. And then suddenly you get to see all Parappa Town. But then there's like some kill zone robots or some shit, and then Master Onion turns into a giant because he did that. He did that one. He did that before, I think. Parappa, first PlayStation character to kiss a man. I like all of the references to Parappa in the background, like the moose in the car, the Think Noodles restaurant, Noodles. and then the scary man that talks about money. But the music always confused me because it sounds exactly like a song from the first Little Big Planet. I am not crazy. They switched those songs. He defecated. Pick that up. The rest of the stages are fine, but not really noteworthy. Just the fact that a couple characters don't even have stages, like Fat Princess and Sir Daniel, which means fuck as Buzz gets a slot in here. Luckily, Sir Daniel did get a medieval stage in the DLC, and it gets invaded by some random paint game nobody has ever played. If this is their all stars, I don't want to see the PlayStation D list. <laughs> you can also unlock costumes and like little companion things that remind me of the like pets and castle crashers but instead they're this let's talk about the gameplay you know how people complain about brawl being slow well they need to shut the fuck up they clearly tried to make the game different from smash bros but that just led the weird choices that are different but also worse the physics just don't feel good and I don't know how to describe it other than that. Big Daddy is like weirdly fast and then Sir Daniel feels like my controller is made out of silly putty. Instead of the goal being knocking players off the stage, instead you knock like electricity points out of them and that goes to your power meter and the only way to kill someone is by using these special attacks. It, it's like kind of like final smashes but required and there's three of them for each character. Not in Shambhala. I guess the only thing I really have left to talk about are the characters. There was this YouTube series explaining all of these characters way better than I could. And I remember watching them. They were cool. I mean, he was the only actual fan of this game, so he was good at it. So I tried to look up a tier list to rank the characters and nothing fucking showed up. <laughs> so I have to make my own. At S tier, we have Sackboy. I don't care about the actual moveset. He's oh, always S tier. No matter what! Everything about him could be better, but he's fun. I like how he has this move that he never fucking does ever, and he, they made him spawn in fans for some reason. I guess he could do that. Uh, one weird thing is that he has, like, two good skins, but in his first special attack thing, he uses a couple of different costumes of the characters in the game. Some of them are actually in Little Big Planet, but some of them just like aren't. Like Parappa isn't a real costume. I don't. It doesn't matter, but it has bothered me for so long. We'll get him next time. You're right. It's time to get back on the horse. Oh, sorry. Next is Kratos. Uh, God is war. What do you insist on doing? They made Kratos too much. That's enough Kratos. And you guys know how much I hate that bastard. Spamtos, okay? Not Kratos. Spamtos, okay? The nigga who gets his level one bar, spammy is away. Nathan Drake is the funniest character ever. He, he's what I wanted in Smash. A character that just pulls out fucking machine guns and shotguns, AKs, running around shooting everyone. It's a move where he just falls through a floor he spawns in. That, that is such a well-known trait of his that had it had to be in his moveset. Cole, a few drinks later, we're talking evil Cole. Now on A tier, Sweet Tooth is fine, but I just want to know 
What the hell even is Twisted Metal? It's like a vehicle game, right? Or something? Why is there a TV show now? Why is Sweet Tooth voiced by the Lego Batman guy? What's happening? No, we should not be doing the Lego movie right now. We should be doing the Lego Batman movie. Big Daddy is weird because you don't really play as the Big Daddies, at least in Bioshock 1. They could have gone with this guy, but yeah, whatever, sure. Just call me Daddy! Parappa. I love Parappa. Parappa. This is like his first appearance on the PS3 and he looks great and his original voice actor is still voicing him. I don't care, he just makes me happy. Oh look, it's Sly's bitch ass. Ooh, Sly Cooper wins again. I'm gonna go home and give Carmelita a kiss. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? If you see Carmelita? Carmelita Fox? <laughs> you ever see her? <laughs> you ever see her around? <laughs> Sly in this game kind of just sucks like he has 50 electric attacks for some reason But then he has like the easiest insta kill in the game where Murray lands his fat ass on a Kratos and kills him instantly Was fat princess not enough fat bitches for you speaking of that B tier was fat princess a fat fetish game I'm thinking about the guy in the Sony office who when asked what characters they should add He screamed fat princess at the top of his lungs and immediately started sweating profusely as they modeled her into the game And they had to make a new technology for the chick physics do i cut this part out yet Toro is the mascot for playstation in japan and the only time i've ever seen it in anything is in this game it's like playstation's hello kitty i like it but not enough who the fuck is this Yu-Gi-Oh blade blade kid get out of here heiachi i forgot he was in this jack and daxter this these two are iconic and also the most forgettable characters ever made. Wasn't there like a solo Daxter game or some shit? I don't know. Ray Deck these nuts in your mouth. Go team, come in. We're getting you out of there. Exclusive footage of what the PS4 3 will look like. And sadly, despite the fact that Killzone 2 was something of a stunner at launch, its technical prowess has always been in the shadow of that absurdly wishful trailer. Now we're at C for Cratchit and Clank. It's them and Kratos. They're the only ones who aren't dead now. They're fine. I like them. I like Sly more though, and guess who got the movie? I'm still waiting. Last game ended on a cliffhanger too. God damn it! Sir Daniel Fortescue. Is the brave knight continued on his quest. And what's this? Another scoundrel? I always thought I might be bad. Now I'm sure that it's true. Cause I think you're so good. And I'm nothing like you. Look at you go. I don't know who this is. Raiden sucks. Not real Raiden. This Raiden. He has the strength of like a Raiden cosplay in real life. It's funny to have like a decked out like rising Raiden, but it's so clear that they wanted Snake, but they couldn't because he's already in Smash Bros. And the next best thing was Raiden. The last character in the original roster here is Black Haired Dante. Fuck you! You piece of shit! This was when they tried to reboot Devil May Cry, which meant making Dante look like this for some reason because people can't relate to white hair, even though Ra Raiden is here. He's pretty relatable. The reboot idea was so bad that they just continued the original game series and Black Haired Dante is now cemented in this game. I don't even know if he's good. I didn't play as him. I don't want to touch that. There's some DLC characters, but uh, I don't want to buy that shit. There's Dead Space guy. That's cool. I like the Gravity Rush girl. I don't know what her whole deal is. I actually don't know who this is. And then there's Zeus! And that's all of the characters. I've milked this game dry. And now there's only one more thing to do. What would my ideal PlayStation All-Stars 2 look like? It's already perfect. Just put in Crash, PlayStation, the Dragon, Laura Croft, and the new money makers like Knack and that one girl incels get mad about. Also, just like triple the stages. You guys could have Factory of a Better Tomorrow, but you picked fucking Buzz. What the hell was wrong with you? Make the story mode actually good. Add every character from Heavy Rain. I don't know. I don't make games. I just played this 10 years ago and I thought it was kind of funny, but like there's not much here. You don't even unlock anything important this is basically all the value you get no fun gameplay and you get to look at sly cooper that actually means this game is pretty good but whatever i'm not dying on this hill pick that up and pay for it Tony, you went wrong with your ps3 i'll just keep playing my 360
Hope this song has helped you understand Now you know how you killed your brand Ma'am, you wanna wanna die alone? Oh, me neither, Louis. Oh, hey, you just caught me playing with my, my man toys. And, but this is the ends, uh, the ends. Fucking, uh, end card. Thanks for watching. This, this video will probably not do that well. But, uh, I don't care. I was, I was never in it for the money. I was in it for the message. All right? So, you know, you know. Uh, I don't, I'll probably be showing just a little bit, but, uh, there should be stuff coming out soon. I don't know. I'm working on a Nickelodeon movie video and I'm writing the script for a big video about reaction channels. That's all. The script's almost done. The video's not even close to being done, but whatever. Uh, the Patreon will probably have something soon. I want to try to get more good stuff on there. I don't know, man. Thanks, patrons. Because <laughs> uh, they just get, like, bit, you, you, get, you can get videos soon, sometimes. Uh, but there's a lot of teasers or stuff. And uh, behind-the-scenes stuff. So I want to put better stuff up on there. Uh... See, uh, I don't know what's going on with the second channel. I, I gotta put something on the second channel. I wanna do something with the second channel. I wanted to upload daily for like a month to see what would happen, but there's no way. There's, I know it would be like shit videos, but there's no way, man. There's no way. Maybe. Maybe. Because I saw some other people do that. But I wanna put in a little bit more effort than they did. So it's not total shit, but it's like shit. But you know, it, it's it's all it's passable. I'm just touching my mark. This is way too long. Holy shit! I gotta fucking end this. This what the fuck.